There was one more thing that they threw in there. Now, they gave us nothing new. They gave us nothing new. We've heard about it already. It's already been confirmed. But just seeing this image come up in this lineup of Marvel, in this quick three-something-minute lineup of Marvel, for them to throw this image in there, I think it was the tangibilization that the Fantastic Four are actually now here. Like, yeah, Kevin Feige at that Disney investors meeting said, and we're going to do Fantastic Four. John Watt's going to direct it. Great. It became real. But seeing it now put into the lineup, like, boom, you know, Quantum Mania, boom, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and boom, Fantastic Four. Now, I did. they didn't include, what's interesting here, Rob, is that they did not include a release date. So, Clearly, they still have a few things that are up in the air. They're not ready to start shooting this movie. They don't have, well, I believe they have their cast. I believe they have their cast. They're just not, at least several yep. of the major cast that they're just not telling us yet. Um, but we haven't got a release date yet. Probably in 2024, I'm guessing, is when this movie will come out. It's probably 2024. Um, so uh, anyway, Rob, you now see this Fantastic Four, Marvel Studios, Fantastic Four. Something I know, John Schnepp was waiting for the day to see that. Something I yep. know you have been waiting to see. I, something that I think a lot of fans of the Fantastic Four, because let's face it, everybody else who's tried to do the Fantastic Four has not done a great job. But to see Marvel Studios Fantastic Four now included with that lineup, what are your thoughts on that right now? Well, um, I... I I think you're right. I think they've already cast the Fantastic Four. I mean, the way Marvel works, <laughs> who knows? They've probably been shooting some of it already. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I, the Fantastic Four, for me, are a cornerstone of Marvel. You know, I mean, I loved John Byrne's run on Fantastic Four in the 80s. I've loved the characters. And they have been decidedly uh, not really working in the... Uh, in previous iterations that we've seen on screen, we've got three different iterations, the Corman version, the Tim Story version, and the Josh Trank version of Fantastic Four. And they never felt right. Even the cast, I never bought into the cast. I mean, I thought that that Chris Evans, like as Johnny Storm, was fine, but I it, it just, it never felt right. The characters look in their uniforms. I didn't, I think Marvel's going to, make it feel correct, whatever they're doing, because they realize how important the Fantastic Four is. And I'll tell you, honestly, without Chris Evans and without uh, Tony, without Tony Stark and without Captain America leading the MCU, Mr. Fantastic to me is the de facto leader of the MCU. Uh, because, you know, he's that figurehead, that, that figurehead that represents science and intellect and and uh compassion as well and the marvel cinematic universe needs that person and doesn't have that person right now with phase four and i think that's why they're gonna that's why the fantastic four is so important because reed richards is going to emerge as the new front man so to speak of the mcu and whoever that is and however they're going to do it it's going to be really important going into phase five and phase six and the next decade going forward. 